Hello, my name is Anthony Francione and I'm a co-founder of Whitebox Geospatial. Today, I'll be providing you with a quick tutorial on how to download and activate a software license for the Whitebox General Toolset extension. In addition, I will show you how to activate this license on two popular front ends, Whitebox Runner and Whitebox Tools Python and Jupyter front ends. The Whitebox General Toolset extension is our first pay-for-use software extension. This toolset is aimed to make the continued development of Whitebox tools more sustainable. In this toolset, there are currently 21 plugin tools that perform a wide range of functions that are applicable to many subfields of GIS and geomatics, such as LiDAR analysis, remote sensing, and precision agriculture. If you navigate to the site, you could read more about the tools and see what they do. As you scroll down the page further, you will see the link to download the general toolset extension. You can download the GTE at any time, but you'll only be able to do so when you have purchased and activated a license. To get started on that process today, let's navigate back to the home page. The first step you'll need to accomplish in order to activate the GTE is download the Whitebox Tools Open Core. To do that, you want to access Software, Download Whitebox Tools. In a previous video, I have talked about how to download Whitebox Tools and launch Whitebox Runner. So if you're unfamiliar with that process or that video, I would recommend watching that video first. For the purpose of this video, you're going to want to download the Open Core if you have not already. So I'm just going to take the time quickly to do that. I have a Mac machine, so I'm just going to enter some information about myself quickly. And once that is completed, I'm going to hit Submit and Download, and Whitebox Tools Open Core will start downloading. Once the open core is downloaded, you're going to want to purchase a license through Whitebox Geospatial. You can either do that on two places on our website. You can either do that through the shop page, or you can do so by accessing the Whitebox Tool Set Extension pricing page. On the pricing page, navigate down to the pricing plan sections. You could read more about the plans and see what each of them entail. Let's say you are a professor at a university or college and you want to buy one academic license for yourself. Select the Buy Now link and it will take you to our shop page. On our shop page, select the number of licenses that you would like to purchase. If you are interested in multi-seat license, you can see that there is an option to buy multi-seats on this page. But if you're only interested in one license, select one, select Add to Cart, and complete the checkout process. Upon successful completion of the checkout process, you will be emailed an activation code within 24 hours. Unfortunately, in the meantime, you will not be able to use the GTE but here at Whitebox Geospatial, we will work as quickly as possible to get the activation code to you. For the purpose of this video, let's say you have received the activation code and you're ready to activate your license. The first thing you're going to want to do after you've received your activation code is download the GTE. So to do that, we're going to navigate to Software, Whitebox Toolset Extensions. Then we're going to scroll down to the bottom of the page where the Download the General Toolset Extension link is. We're going to select the version of select the operating system, which for myself was a Mac, and we're going to hit download. Once that folder is downloaded, it will be placed in your download folder, which will also be the same location that the white box tools open core was placed. So let's go and have a look at our downloads folder. So in our downloads folder, oops, you will see the white box tools open core and the general tool set extension. So we're just going to go ahead and unzip those and then we're going to go ahead and copy those and place them in another folder on your hard drive for myself i placed them in a folder called anthony wbt tutorial so in the white box tools folder you're going to see a subfolder called plugins in plugins you will see that there is two executables and one json file one executable is for the register license, license file. We will talk about that later though. The other executable and JSON file is for the split vector lines tools. This tool is the first plugin tool for Whitebox tools. With the re stable release of 1.5, Whitebox tools has transitioned from a monolith architecture where all the tools live in a single binary to a plugin architecture, which provides much greater flexibility. You could read more about this change in the Whitebox Geospatial News section on our page. To activate the license, you'll need to open the general toolset extension folder. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's navigate back. General toolset extension. 
in the general tool set extension folder, you will see all the executables and their JSON files. The first thing you're going to want to do is copy all these files, Command C, and you're going to want to place them in the WBT plugins folder. So go ahead and Command V. You will get a warning about replacing the register license executable. This file is the same file, it's just distributed in the open core and the GTE. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace that. Now all the executables and their JSONs live within the same directory. Now for an example, let's try to see if we can get these tools to work. So let's go ahead and launch runner. Just going to quickly CD to that directory. And I'm going to launch runner. When Runner launches, you're going to notice that there are 470 tools available. This number reflects both the open core and the GTE. At the time of this video, there are 449 tools in the open core and 21 tools in the GTE for a total of 470. Although Whitebox recognizes the additional plugin tools, if you go to try to run one, for example, uh, from the GTE, it will not launch because you have not yet activated a license. Let's just go ahead and try that process. One of the tools in the GTE is called the Canny Edge Detection Tool. So I'm just going to go ahead and run that with a test color composite that I have on my desktop. So I'm just going to test.tiff and I'm going to run. You will see an error message pops up that says there is an invalid or expired license for this tool. Please contact Whitebox Geospatial to obtain a, um, a valid key. So now that we have the activation code, and we have the tools recognized by Whitebox Runner, we're just gonna to have to activate the license. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing we wanna do is just let's get out a runner and let's go back to the plugins folder. In the plugins folder, you're gonna scroll down and see an executable called register license. This is a command line tool that will allow you to activate the GTE. There is also a plugin tool that is located in runner and you can activate the license during using that tool but the command line tool is the recommended way, and that's the way that I'll be demonstrating in this video. You can either launch this program by double clicking it, or you can activate it through the terminal. I'm gonna activate it by double clicking it. When the interface opens, you're gonna be asked a series of questions. The first will be to enter an email address of the licensee. At the time you purchased a license, you were asked to enter an email address. That email address you provided at checkout will be used to activate and maintain your software license when you register your license for the first time. So for myself, I created, when I purchased the license, I used this email. After you enter the email address, you'll be asked to enter your seat number. If you only bought one seat for yourself, then enter one. So let's say you purchased a license for three people and you're activating the second seat, you'll want to use two here. So I'm just going to enter one. Next, it will ask you for the activation key. This key will be provided to you via an email from Whitebox Geospatial. For the purpose of this video, I've created a test license that is only valid for one day. And that is located here. I'm just going to copy and paste that over. And I'm going to hit enter. The next question asks you if you agree to the terms of the license. Upon successful purchase of a software license, we will send you a copy of our software license user agreement, or you can view it at our site at any time. Once you have read that over and you are comfortable with answering this question, do so at this time. For me, I am going to hit yes. And you'll see a message pop up saying, license activated for the general tool set, please enjoy. So we have successfully activated the license for the general tool set extension using Runner. Uh, there's another question that says, do you want to activate another license? If you had a second seat at this time, you would select yes, and you can go ahead and repeat that process. But for myself, I've only entered one, so I'm just going to do press no. So now let's just go ahead and test the GTE again using that same canny edge detection tool. So I'm going to launch runner again. And I'm going to select the canny edge detection tool and I'm going to run it with that same color composite on my desktop. I'm going to call it test.tiff, and I'm going to hit run. So the tool successfully executes. So now that the tool successfully executes and we have the GTE 
working and activated through Whitebox Runner. That concludes this portion of this video. Um, this is the completed part for the tutorial for the Whitebox Runner. So now we're going to transition to how to download and activate the license using Whitebox Python and Jupyter front end. I will specifically be focusing on the Whitebox Python front end, but this information can be transferable to the Jupyter front end as well. I have also provided all links in the description to each front end, how to download them and further information. So if you have any questions on that, see the links down below. The first thing you're going to want to do to navigate to, uh, to download the Whitebox Python front end is navigate to the Whitebox Python package site and read how to pip install Whitebox. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to close runner. I'm going to go to the Whitebox Python package homepage and I'm just going to read how to pip install Whitebox. This Python package is maintained by Kuesheng Wu. He does maintain a numerous amount of front ends and he has great tutorial videos and content on how to download, install, and work with those front ends. I will attach the link to his tutorials down below as well. But to pip install Whitebox, you're gonna to wanna to type the following command, pip install Whitebox. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm just gonna open a new tab to my terminal and I'm gonna type the command pip install Whitebox. So now I'm going to go find where the where PIP has installed Whitebox. For myself on a Mac machine, I know it's located in Python.framework and I have to actually navigate to it through versions, Python 3.6, um, lib, Python 3.6 again, and then site packages. And I'm gonna go all the way down to W for Whitebox and there it is. This is where it's located on my Mac. It will likely be diff uh, located in different places for Windows and Linux machines. You can get more information where PIP installs packages differently for operating systems by Googling it. So if you have any questions about that, I would check that out. You will see upon, you will see when you've accessed the Whitebox folder that the executable for Whitebox is not currently downloaded. You'll need to import Whitebox first in order to start this process. It currently does have some of the other files such as runner, whiteboxtools.py, but you will notice the plugins folder is missing. So to get the executable and the plugins environment, you're gonna to wanna to either type into the Python directory or through a script, import whitebox. Note, this is only for the first install of the Python or Jupyter front ends. So go ahead and type import whitebox and you will see that the import statement will trigger the download. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna invoke Python. And I'm gonna type import white box. You will see that this import statement triggered the download of the white box pre-compiled library for uh, Darwin machines, and it downloaded some test data. But more importantly, you'll see in the um, file explorer that the plugins directory downloaded. So now that the plugins directory downloaded, you're just gonna wanna complete the exact same process for runner. So let's go ahead and go back to the plugins folder. Let's copy all the files, copy, paste them into this plugins folder. We're gonna get that same register license um, moving the same file. We're going to hit replace. Now we're going to launch uh, register license. We're gonna enter all that same information Gonna get the activation key again. Yes, license activated. Please, for the general tool set, please enjoy. Once that is completed, you have successfully activated the license to the GTE and start using the tools for the white box Python front end. So that concludes this video, how to download and activate the GTE for, w, for white box runner, white box Python and Jupyter front end. This same method is also applicable if you are using Conda. You will still want to import Whitebox to initiate the first time download for the Whitebox tools library. That concludes this video. I hope it has helped you download and activate the GTE. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below in our Google group or send us an email at support at whiteboxgeo.com. Please subscribe to our channel for all new videos and updates. Thanks for watching.